Hey, Gary Bernier, Whiskey Sommelier, here with my good buddy Dave Young, Whiskey Sommelier. He's got so many titles, I can't even keep track of them. But if you haven't gone to the Empire Builders podcast and listened to an episode, you oh, should. That's fun. Yeah, that's, that's Dave's jam these days. So, we're here in the Whiskey Vault because we like this place. Mm -hmm. And uh, Dave's got another story for us because, you know, he this is a fungible story, according to Dave. You tell a story in here, Dave's going to suck well, it up. I, and... I'm, I'm the vice chancellor of, of, of Wizard Academy and the Whiskey Marketing School. So, I hear stories in here. Somebody will come in and they'll pull up a whiskey and they'll say, Oh, I really like this one. Let me tell you the story of it. Woo! Right? Yeah. And so when, when we say a, a, a fungible story, right? We've, we've called stories in this room fungible for a long time. And then now lately they've talked about non-fungible tokens and all that kind of BS. Yeah. And that means like, oh, it's it's a thing that I own and nobody else can have it. Yeah. Right? There's only six copies of the story so, in the world. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> so what happens here is you tell a story in this room and anybody overhears it, it's now their story. They can tell it. And so... So if you like this story, feel free to tell it. <laughs> absolutely. You probably tell it better than we do because you're getting it secondhand from me. <laughs> <laughs> and I just heard it a couple nights ago. We were in here after class with uh, some of the students and uh, Eric Eustace. Yeah, another whiskey song. Another whiskey song from uh, Buffalo. Yeah. Buffalo, New York was here. And one of, one of the other students wanted to taste something kind of unique. And Eric's like, oh, I've got a story about this one. And he pulled out a bottle of Few Whiskey, F-E-W, and... Does that mean there's only a few bottles? I, I well, I, we could only find two. <laughs> and, I, and we couldn't find the one that I think he poured, which, which had a different picture on the front. But what I thought was the cool thing about it is, uh, this whiskey company, yeah. and, and the name, uh -huh. and where it's distilled, is two middle fingers up to Prohibition. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That's, uh -huh. <laughs> that's the story, right? Okay. So so the first one is it's it's distilled in Evanston, Illinois. Okay. Evanston, Illinois uh, it was almost the birthplace of prohibition. Like the 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 ladies, genesis, the temperance union and all 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 those ladies that that were pushing the the drive for prohibition uh a lot of them were headquartered in Evanston, Illinois and they still had rules on the books that said you can't make whiskey there. And I don't, somehow they got around that. Right. So, boom, they, they knocked him down with that. Punched him in the face. And, then, and I, don't, I don't even remember the guy that started it. Uh, this is worth looking up, though. I think this is a story worth chasing, because it's kind of fun. Yeah. So, Few, F-E-W, mm -hmm. right? The leader of the of the whole temperance movement prohibition thing, Francis E. Ward. Oh. Uh, this is the other. <laughs> oh, so they, this is a TLA. They, yeah, a three-letter acronym. They named their distillery after her, mm. right? And so and, okay. and, um, they're making kind of good, kind of fun whiskey. I, I, I like how they're poking fun at that. Right? So I, I love a story like that. Like when, when the, and and the, the bottle that Eric had up here the other night, like this one has, I'm not sure what that picture, oh, that's, he did tape. I mean, this might be the one. Like, this is from the Chicago um, exposition that they had, like, oh. in the late 1800s. Right. And so it's a, it's a picture of, like, Lady Liberty or something from mm -hmm. that. So that's that's Evanston. That's Chicago area, right? And I'm not sure what this one is. Probably a fountain. Oh, that's the, the fountain. That's, that's the one. I think that's the one downtown, Married with Children Fountain. Oh, okay. Nice, nice. <laughs> and so the, the other bottle that he had, I think, had, a like, a drawing of... Uh, like you remember, you, you see all those pictures of the prohibition movement and those ladies in those big black long dresses, mm -hmm. you know, screaming at their drunk husbands. Um, <laughs> and Guilty. So, uh. <laughs> so they, they actually have in some of the bottles. They have a picture of, of you know one of those suffragette uh, uh -huh. uh, prohibition ladies. Right. So they they really like taking it. They're totally. leaning into this, yeah, right? And I think I think that makes it kind of a fun story. That's uh, uh -huh. that's some good marketing, yeah. right? And there. I, I doubt that we're going to get hate mail for that. No. No, because th th those ladies aren't watching this. No. Certainly not. Mm -hmm. You want to try the bourbon or the rye? I'm more a bourbon guy than a rye, so let's let's give their bourbon a try. The interesting thing is we did, as Dave's pouring this, we did find they've got a single malt as well. So, that you know, we pulled out two of the bottles, but there are a single malt. So, you know, as a distillery, yeah, they're making all three types of spirits, which that in itself is uh, unique and unusual. Yeah, they're, they're, so check it out. Uh, yeah. it's, it's, it's few, few and far between. Uh, Oh, oh, that's, a, that's 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 pretty a, dark. Yeah, yeah. Looks like it spent some time in a barrel. Mm. Oh, 
Oh, that's caramely. See, I, I, I leave the tasting and, and sniffing to, to you other songs because I think I've told you before, when I when I took the class, I felt like a, a colorblind kid in art class. <laughs> like, if it doesn't smell or taste like Play-Doh, I can't identify it. <laughs> I'm nose blind in the kitchen. Uh -huh. Are those chocolate chip cookies? It, uh, it smells nice. Oh, I, there is a sweetness. Oh, like yeah. it, if, I, if it reminded me of anything, just instantly it was like the smell of Drambuie for some reason, which is not bourbon, you, 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 but it's a sweetened Yeah, you do get scotch. The, you get the alcohol fumes, right? Then you get the sweetness underneath mm -hmm. of that corn and, and the barrel coming yeah. up at you. And yeah, I can see you going to your Drambuie. Mm -hmm. All right, let's give this a little taster. Oh, wow. It, it, so it's got kind of a dry, dusty corn taste to me in some ways. Interesting. Did it linger on your tongue? Does it feel a little oily? Um, no, it doesn't feel oily. Mm. I, but, you know. It definitely, it like, it definitely coated. It didn't just run away. It didn't just, for me, it didn't just disappear. It's, it's, an, it's an interesting taste. And, and what I'm getting is, like I said, it's almost a, almost a dryness. Do you get more on the finish than you do in the beginning, or more in the beginning? Let me try again. All right. For me, I'm I'm getting more on the, the finish. Sort of as it rolls off the back of the tongue, I'm getting mm -hmm. more smells coming up through the the nasal, more more taste mm -hmm. off of it. Right. It smells like prohibition. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what prohibition smells like, but this maybe, is, maybe this is it. Maybe I'm picking up like the dust off of one of those uh, prohibition ladies black dresses after she traipsed around at the Chicago fair holding her sign all day. Right. It's like, mm. yeah, there's a, there's a kind of, it, but this, uh, this is a good bourbon and this would be a good mixing bourbon as well. Cause this has got enough, like it's enough flavor forward that it would still come through in any drink that you wanted to put a, mm -hmm. put a bourbon in. Right. This isn't going to take the back seat to the other ingredients. Yeah. I like it. And you know, I, we've talked about this before. My my preference is always a whiskey I can tell a story about. Uh huh. And because you have so there are so many. Look around, <laughs> right? <laughs> you have so many choices out there, and um, if you don't have the sophisticated nose and the sophisticated palate, then go with story. Right? It's like, hey, I like this because I know the story now, and my friend Eric told me the story, and now I've told you the story. And, uh, and, and so I'm, I'm going to do a little research on it. I'll go back to Few because I have a story now to tell with it. And we made that video about Few mm -hmm. that, that one time, this time. Good, this time, like this today. Time. That, with our drinking shirts. With our, our drinking shirt shirts on. Yeah, fancy yeah. medals and all the rest of that. Yeah, my, yeah, the cocktail shirt. So we hope you liked us rambling on about Few. Mm -hmm. You know, um, if you're in the area or you find it on your shelves, uh, like I said, Bourbon's a good bourbon. I'm going to expect their rye is probably going to be a pretty spicy rye. Mm -hmm. um, so, again, some more. grab a few. Grab a few. <laughs> a few, few. <laughs> See ya, boys. Bye. See ya.